We all come across those rude sons of guns who think they rule the world. You know the type. The ones who think they can walk all over you and get away with it. I've been there, I've dealt with it, and it's goddamn annoying. But let me tell you this, it doesn't have to be that way. You can turn the tables and shut those people down without even having to stoop to their level. In this hard-hitting guide, I'm going to be revealing to you the strategies that have turned the game in my favor. These aren't your grandpa's polite little tips. These are stone-cold, tried-and-true tactics that will make those smart asses think twice before messing with you again. Chapter 1. Call them out. This is where the battle begins. You want to stop those rude punks? You gotta call them out. Remember, when you're not supposed to be doing this out of spite. You're doing this to stand up for yourself. So, here's how it's done. When someone spews some disrespectful bullshit your way, or even to someone else for that matter, don't shrink back. Hold your ground and call them out on their behavior. It's like a predator. They smell fear. They'll keep on attacking. But the moment that you show that you ain't having it, they're gonna think twice. But don't just do it, anyhow. You gotta be smart about it. For instance, if they make some dumb comment, you can respond with a simple, Excuse me? What did you say? It's polite, yes, but it also puts them on a spot. They'll have to think twice before repeating their disrespectful comment. And when you're calling them out, maintain eye contact. Show them that you're serious and you're not afraid of... Be firm in your voice, but not aggressive. Aggression will only escalate things, and that's not what we're aiming for. So, here's the trick. You are not just confronting them. You are giving them a chance to correct themselves. Many times, people don't even realize that they're being rude until they're called out on. They might just be able to backtrack. They could even apologize to you. But even if they don't, you've made it clear that you are not someone to be messed with. Chapter 2. Stay Calm Listen, there is nothing a rude person enjoys more than watching you lose your cool. It's like a sick game for them, getting you riled up, seeing you lose your calm. But you're not about to give them that satisfaction, are you? Keeping your cool is your strongest weapon. It tells them that their rudeness ain't affecting you and that you are too strong to be dragged down by their pettiness. Even more, it shows that you're the bigger person. Now that's power. So, here's the deal. When they start spitting BS, take a deep breath, relax, keep your tone steady, the words calm. Don't let them see that they're getting under your skin. Now that's going to be the hardest part, I think. Especially when all you want to do is scream at them, but... Remember, that is exactly what they want, and you're not about to give it to them. Staying calm doesn't mean you're weak. It means you're in control. While you're going through the journey of self-improvement, you need the right guidance to efficiently level up in life. All the different aspects of self-improvement are brought together in the 0.1% blueprint. The name already gives it away. You're going to have access to all the information that'll drastically transform your life. Since the gym plays a critical part, we included an advanced gym program that's fully customizable to your needs. If you're ready to take that next step in your journey, click that link in the description down below. Chapter 3. Use humor as your shield. Alright, next up is humor. This one's a game changer, and let me tell you why. A well-placed joke can cut tension like a hot knife through butter. And even more, it can turn the tables on the rude jerk trying to bring you down. Think about it. Rudeness is often fueled by negativity, right? A mean comment, a disrespectful action. It's all a bunch of negative energy, but humor, that is pure positivity. It's hard to keep being an asshole when everyone else is laughing, right? So, here's what you do. When they come at you with their rudeness, deflect it with a joke or a sarcastic comment. Oof, that one will sting. Doesn't have to be a stand-up comedy routine, just a light-hearted comment to diffuse the situation. Turn their rude comment into a punchline. Not only will it disarm them, but it'll show others that you don't take crap. And here's the genius part. By doing this, you're not getting down to their level. You're not fighting dirty with insults or petty comebacks. You're just making a joke. It's hard to argue with humor, right? It's even harder to keep being rude when you're being laughed at. Chapter 4. Turn their insult into a compliment. Yeah, you read that right. And no, you didn't stumble into some peace-loving fairy tale. You're still in the real world. The world that sometimes hits you with obnoxious pricks that you gotta deal with. And we're going to do it with style. Turning their insults into a compliment. That's your weapon of choice. And trust me, it's a damn powerful one. 
Here's the thing, when someone's being rude to you, they're looking for a reaction. They're itching to fight for some drama, for some action. They want you angry, they want you defensive. And the best way to rob them of that satisfaction, you ask? Give them the opposite of what they want. So when that clown spits some crap insult your way, you don't throw a punch back. Instead, you catch that insult midair, you polish it up, and you turn it into a shiny compliment. That is how you do it. Chapter 5. Show Empathy Alright, brace yourself for this one, because it might seem a bit off the rails. But here we are, alright? Now, we've talked about shutting down rude people, putting them in their place, maintaining your cool, but something you probably didn't expect is showing empathy. Yeah? Yeah, you heard it right. Empathy. For the rude dude who's been getting on your nerves. I know, it sounds like some lovey-dovey kumbaya, my lord, type of stuff, but there is a method to the madness, so trust me on this one. Picture this. Someone is throwing snide comments your way, and you hit them with the Sounds like you're having a bad day, man. Anything you want to talk about? Talk about a curveball, right? See, the thing about rudeness is it often comes from some sort of frustration, or insecurity, or personal issue. Don't excuse it, but understanding it can give you that upper hand, right? You showing empathy, offering a listening ear, that can throw them right off their feet. It can lighten the situation, it can make them rethink their behavior. And in some cases, they, they might actually open up to you. They actually might address the real issue instead of lashing out. Now, I'm not saying to turn into a therapist or let them walk all over you, but sometimes the most powerful way to shut down rudeness is to show them kindness. Kill them with kindness, as they always have said. <laughs> to show them that you are above their petty game. You see, you're not just shutting down a rude person, you're showing them a better way. You're making a statement. And trust me, a statement is so much more powerful than a stupid, snappy comeback. As good as it might be. Chapter 6. The Cold Shoulder Alright, we're talking end game here, boys. The nuclear option. You know the saying, silence is golden? Well, it's not just about enjoying peace and quiet. Silence can be a goddamn powerful weapon. Brutal one, even. A rude person thrives in the chaos that they create, the reactions they get from others. But what if you gave them none of that? Absolutely nothing. No recognition, no attention, nothing. They might make a dumb little comment, and you? You act like you didn't hear a goddamn thing. They might raise their voice, make a scene, but you? You keep your cool, continue doing exactly what you were doing, entirely undisturbed. This isn't about ignorance, it's about sending a clear message. Their rudeness means nothing to you, they mean nothing to you. Their attempts to belittle you, to provoke you, it's all just white noise. They're not worth your time, not worth your energy. They are nothing. Now, this isn't about avoiding confrontation or running away from conflict, hell no. This is about choosing not to engage with assholes. It's about it showing that you are above their petty rudeness, that you will not stoop to their level. And the best part, the confusion, the frustration on their face when they realize that they're not getting a reaction from you, oh, it is priceless. You're left powerless, their rudeness rendered utterly ineffective. Alright, that's it. No more advice. No more guidance. I've given you everything you need to know to take a rude person down. Now it's all on you. You've got the tools. You've got the knowledge. It's time to put all that into action. Show them that you're not just another pushover, another easy target. Do not tolerate rudeness, friends. Don't let them walk all over you. Stand up for yourself. Put them in their place. Don't forget, this ain't a game. This is real life. And in real life, you gotta fight your own battles. So fight. And don't stop until you've won.